Hello and welcome to The United Man. My name is Shane. This is the place where you get all the latest Manchester United news, views and opinions. Today we're going to be going through all the latest transfer news. That's including the latest about, you guessed it, Bruno Fernandes, Erlen Haaland, Paul Pogba and a lot more. Okay, we're back again with that old foe, that old legend that is Bruno Fernandes. Um, I don't know about you guys, but um, yeah, I was kind of like really sick and tired of hearing this guy's name um, towards the end of the summer transfer window. Uh, I was one of the people singing his praises, wanting him to come in, wanting him to come in, didn't end up arriving at May United. Why? Till this day, there has been no definitive reason as to why we never got him. Um, but as the transfer window, the January transfer window looms, ultimately, inevitably, there's more hype surrounding him. So this season, Bruno Fernandes has been off to a flying start again, scoring 12 goals and assisting on 10 separate occasions in 19 appearances. So... The guy's not dropped off in any kind of form whatsoever. And he just quite... I, I really don't know why no one's gone and bought this guy. There must be some kind of lurgy attached to Bruno Fernandes because why no one signed him in the in the summer transfer window after the season he had last, last season? Um, and if no one signs him again in the January transfer window, there's something definitely going on. Something that all the clubs know that they're not letting out. There's got to be because this guy has got class written all over him. 19 games this season he's played. Scored on 12 occasions. That's 12 goals and assisted on 10 of them. What are we struggling for in our team? Goals and assists. Yeah, I know. Goals and assists, but we don't need Bruno Fernandes, do we? So, on this occasion, it's Ojogo, the Portuguese media outlet and also record that has brought this back to life, um, taking it out of the grave, I suppose, and put it back in the headlines. They are stating that, obviously, Mourinho has said that he's not interested in signing him um, for Spurs, but they're also still saying that Manchester United are interested, um, and they're saying that it's going to cost around 70 million euros, that coming up to roughly 50 million pounds, sorry, 58 million pounds. And for a player of his quality, mm. and with, well, let's, let's just say the money that is available to Manchester United, that shouldn't be too much of a struggle for us to stump up the cash for him. Next up on the next, we have Erling Haaland, the teenage six foot four striking sensation, straight out of Austria, playing for uh, Salzburg, I believe. Um, it's not going away. The lad has scored on, well, scored on 15 different occasions, assisted on six in 13 games. Like I said from my previous video, people can say he's playing in the Austrian League. However, he's scoring in the Champions League. That's widely, re well, is widely viewed as the best competition in football, even more so than the World Cup. So he scored in eight, well, he scored eight goals in the Champions League. So, no Mickey Mouse. He's no Mickey Mouse, maybe in a Mickey Mouse league, but he's still got to perform in those leagues as well. So, yeah, for me, you can't overlook him. What's your opinion on him? Because I want you guys' opinion because I'm not sure. Like I said, I've seen him on probably out four occasions in the Champions League, watched loads of highlights. Um, he looks good. He's got that turn of pace, which he, he's got a sort of hunchback running style, um, which doesn't look for... You know, it doesn't look like he's going pretty quick, but he's going pretty quick. He's a different style striker. He's a big physical cool presence as well, but a very good finisher from what I've seen. Um, let me know what you think on this guy. Builder, the German news outlet, um, is saying that Borussia Dortmund is also interested, like many of the other European top clubs, and are saying that he's going to be available for roughly between 30 and 20 million euros. That's as little as 17 million pounds if that is believed to be true. Um, well, let's be honest. We need goals, extra goals. Rashford's doing it 
a bit more at, at this present time, but obviously we all know Rashford's form up and down. And at this moment in time, we probably can't rely on just Rashford for goals. Wildly viewed is if Manchester United are to sign Erling Haaland, we seem to be front runners according to the newspaper outlets, if you believe those. But if we are to get him, it will be widely down to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and his relationship with Erling Haaland. So let's see how this one plays out. Laturo Martinez, another striker that springboks into the newspaper headlines now. Um, looking like, well, he's playing for Inter Milan alongside Romelu Lukaku, our old boy. Um, Spanish, well, sorry, Italian news outlets are now saying that he's a target for Manchester United. 22-year-old striker. He's played 19 games so far this season and scored 13 goals. 22 years of age, as I say so. This is kind of like his breakout season for Inter and himself, obviously. So, interesting to see. That's a new one that's broken on, on well, the news front. I don't really have too much of an opinion of him. I don't really watch Italian football, so I don't know how Lukaku's going on. Um, I don't know how good this guy, guy is. So if you guys have an opinion on him, let me know. There isn't too much, by the way, of information regarding to price tags linked to this one. This one's only just come out of the woodworks from what I've seen this week. So let's see how this one progresses. Let's see how he progresses over the season. Um, ultimately, we do need another striker, which is the obvious thing. I don't think Martial is going to be able to consistently do it again, whether it's injury or form. We're going to need someone that is going to be knocking in the goals consistently. Gazzetto dello Sport, Italian press outlet, is stating that Emre Chan is an option for Manchester United and vice versa. Now, Emre Chan hasn't been playing for Juventus as of late, um, fallen out of favour with Mauricio Sarri, whether that's personal reasons or on, on, on pitch performances, I don't know. But. He was left out of the whole entire Champions League squad. So that kind of tells you where Sari places him in terms of importance of the squad. If you're not even in the Champions League squad, which is your biggest, com oh, well, the biggest club competition, and you're not in that squad, that kind of tells you are, where you are in the pecking order. As many players do, when they're away on international duty, they tend to let their tongues wag, and Emre Chan is of no exception. Whilst away on international duty with Germany, he was obviously speaking to some journalists and he basically let them know in no uncertain terms how he's feeling with his time at Juventus at the moment and let them know how unhappy he is with his situation. Um, whether or not he's a viable option for us, I know that PSG are interested in him, in him as well. Um, and Bayern Munich also, for me, I don't believe Emre Chan is what we need. Don't get me wrong, he obviously has quality to a degree, but he's not going to be enough of an upgrade on your Scott McTominay's or Fred's, if you ask me. So hopefully we look, at, we'll cast our, our nets a bit higher than Emre Chan. Obviously, I know we've had a bit of a fall from grace recently, so beggars can't be choosers, but I still think we can do a bit better than Emre Chan. Paul Pogba, the maverick, the one-away kid. Obviously, the, the option for Paul Pogba is Real Madrid. Possibly only Real Madrid at the moment. Um, problem is for Paul Pogba, and indeed Zinedine Zidane, who says he loves Pogba. Real Madrid president, club president, Florentino Perez isn't sold on Paul Pogba. He isn't sold on the fact that it's going to cost Real Madrid a massive fee, which it will do, which, you know, we're more than entitled to. Somewhere in the region of 110, 120 20 million. Florentino Perez doesn't want to spend that much on one player, namely Paul Pogba. He belie also believes that his wages will be too excessive. He also believes that there are younger players within the Real Madrid setup already, namely Valverde, that you know potentially will reach Paul Pogba's ability level. But in 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 Fiorentino Perez's views, is already very close to that ability. Furthermore, Valverde is an up and coming talent within the Real Madrid setup. You've already got Tony Cruz there. You've already got Luka Modric there. You've already got Casemiro there. Three central midfielders that are you know. 
by far a lot better than the ones that we have available to us at the moment. That's not including Pogba. But Perez also feels that should Pogba arrive, he's going to stifle the chances and the, well, the progression of Valverde. Remains to be seen. However, listen, I'll take a Tony Cruz Pogba swap plus 50 mil. Perez is only looking to spend 50 million euros total on Paul Pogba. Obviously, that's not going to get it done. So they're going to have to come some, with something a bit more realistic than that. They're going to have to come correct on that on that with those kind of valuations. That's not going to get it done. Pogba, for me, this season, he, for the rest of this season, he just needs to get his head down, um, play some football, be fantastic because he hasn't been. He hasn't been consistently fantastic for us. So if he's hoping to get his dream move and for us to get all the cash that we want and need for him, he's going to have to pull his finger out when he gets back from injury and starts putting in some performances. Guys, much, much appreciated for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And I shall see you in the next one.